Ukraine when the war started. Uh, my husband is still in Ukraine because he couldn't leave. So me and my mother-in-law, we came to Moldova because my parents are from here and I'm from here too. So I got to Moldova on the 25th. Then uh, on the same day I got here, I got some donations from um, a friend of mine who is, in actually, who is in the UK. And uh, I spent those money to buy uh, food and groceries for a refugee center, which is um, three hours away from Chisinau, right by the border with Romania. I'm in Romania, I'm at the airport. I have a bus at nine o'clock, it's currently 6.15. Yeah, so I just flew with what well, seems like the ropiest airline ever, but I had so much leg room. The bus I'm gonna catch tonight is another ropey bus company. It's gonna land in Moldova 6 a.m. tomorrow. So that's nine hours of bus. It. I'm in Moldova. The bus is way earlier than it should have been. So I was meant to arrive at six o'clock. It's now currently um, 4.45. And I have no idea where I am. Oh, look at this. I am currently in McDonald's. It doesn't open till seven, but they very kindly let me in to stay out of the cold and wait for my friend to show up since they are probably still in bed. It's 5.17 a.m. Big up the kindness of the people of Moldova for giving me a place to sit and not freeze to death outside. where we are we're in a car and I'm with Nina so we got back had a bit of a sleep had a much deserved shower feeling good so we have the car we're gonna do some cool things what we're we gonna do um, we're gonna go visit the refugee center actually not a center we're going to go to their houses I'll manage it here so that she has a place to sit. Give it a go. Okay, so we have seven bags. Well, 14 bags. Two bags of each thing, which will be given to the refugees. We've got toilet paper, water, milk, cereal. Stuff. But we're in a village, and where are we? Balabanesht. And we are dropping off some bags for some people we've done two so far we're looking for our number three um, our friend is currently looking for them whilst we sit in a nice air-conditioned car a lot of editing so here is Josh driving he's kind of good at it I'm okay he's okay yeah I mean that's everything I can say about Josh he's okay right show him the stuff in the back see the toilet roll? Um, yeah, like paper towels, toilet papers, and in the trunk we have more stuff. This is the village we go to, we're going to. It's called Balabanesht, and uh, there's a, a social worker, she's helping us find the houses. So she just uh, called me, and she said, this is the house, so we're gonna drop the stuff out, yay! We just uh, delivered the last bags of food and wash and stuff. So we are heading back to Kishinev? Kishinev. Kishinev. Small. Why? So I got, so I was in Ukraine when the war started. Uh, my husband is still in Ukraine because he couldn't leave. So me and my mother-in-law, we came to Moldova because my parents are from here and I'm from here too. So I got to Moldova on the 25th. Then uh, on the same day I got here, I got some donations from um, 
a friend of mine who is in actually who is in the UK, and uh, I spend those money to buy uh, food and groceries for a refugee center, which is um, three hours away from Chisinau, right by the border with Romania. So that was the first time. Then <laughs> it's actually pretty fun <laughs> talking like this with these roads. <laughs> It's actually funny to see how Josh is driving and still holding the camera so I can talk. I can hold the camera. Hold it. Yeah, I can hold the camera. We are heading to Metro to buy some food because we are heading to... He's pudding. Which is about an hour away from here. We're listening to the Cardinal Black. Um, so we got some sunny weather, good music, and we're gonna have a good day. Move so much. Woo! Okay, we're set. Let's go. Yes, four tires. Drop off? Yes, I'm excited. We're doing a drop off in his house. I'm just excited to be with the priest. He's just so cool. That's his car. Driving a Ford Galaxy. Ever met a priest drive a Ford Galaxy? Hey, stop. Now you have. Oh. Quite emotional. The one lady, she's explaining that her son is fighting in Ukraine right now. She's here with her daughter-in-law and two kids and I just can't even imagine what the lady is feeling like and her, the mom and also the wife of the guy that is fighting right now. So, yeah, they do not deserve this kind of treatment. Nobody deserves to be attacked. So. This morning we've already met with... Who did we meet with this morning? We're the... We're yes. a humanitarian aid yeah. guy. Um, so that was kind of cool and interesting. We are now back, or well, we came back to Nina's house. But we ought to do a few chores ourselves. We just pick up some wood. So we're with Nina and, my parents. and her parents. It's a lot of wood. Yeah. Putting her all in the back of the bag. Stuff for kids, toys, books to draw, color, do maths, English, probably not English. Food for kids, food for bigger kids. We've got glasses. Oh, just in time for the sun to set. <laughs> oh, she's helping so much. We're at the refugee center where the lovely lady has met us. And we're kind of almost done. Today it's going to be my video. He's been in the video too much. So um, uh, I got a call from uh, a friend whose friend is hosting a refugee family, and the refugees asked for it's it's a family of three, like two ladies and a boy. They asked for some shoes and clothes, so that's what we got them. So over here. Josh has the sneakers. Show them. Ah, they're so cute, the Disney sneakers. Yay, these are really cute. And I got some socks and also some shirts in the back. So I got shirts for them. That's that. Nina's holding the birthday cake because it's a refugee birthday tomorrow. So that'll be a surprise for them. Yeah, good amount of shopping for this family. And we got some juice for them to celebrate their birthday too. So it finally happened. We are wearing our glasses. 
Guess what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just got pulled by the police again. <laughs> and it's been four days. Twice in four days. And this time we do have to pay a fine. However, the fine is not that big. It's real life Moldova. Pure Moldova. None of this fake Moldova is the real Moldova. So, these are the tents set up for the refugees since day two or day three, I don't remember exactly of the war. And we'll just go around, as you can see. Uh, the way to the border is over there, but the police does not allow us to go. Only buses, so we will have to go to the right. So, we are at the refugee center, that's where they get some food. There's Nina. A bus of the refugees has been dropped off. So to be specific, um, the border is just a kilometer away. They were not allowed to get there by the police, just not to make a traffic jam. That's why they set up all the stands here. So there are buses that go every half an hour. So these buses, um, they go, it takes about half an hour for them to... I think that didn't make sense, but they have to cut it, so anyways. Every half an hour they go to the border, take a bunch of people. Ну, с днем рождения вас! Спасибо! Да, вернись тортик!